Hi, in today's video, we will fly to Neptune and its moon, Triton. Enjoy the video, and I hope you like it. I've also prepared some interesting facts about Neptune and Triton to keep you entertained. Neptune has the strongest winds in the solar system, reaching speeds of up to 2,100 km per hour, making it an incredibly stormy planet. Its deep blue color comes from methane in its atmosphere, which absorbs red light and reflects blue. Interestingly, Neptune was discovered through mathematical calculations before being observed through a telescope in 1846. A day on Neptune lasts only 16 hours, but a year takes 165 Earth years. That's a really long journey around the sun. One of the most famous features on Neptune is the Great Dark Spot, a huge storm that sometimes disappears and then reappears in a different location. Now let's talk about Triton, Neptune's largest moon. Triton is the only large moon in the solar system that orbits its planet in the opposite direction of the planet's rotation. That's really unusual. I will use this small probe to fly into Neptune. We can get back to the fun facts about Triton. Scientists have discovered geysers on Triton that release frozen nitrogen. This suggests there might be heat inside the moon. Now we're entering Neptune's atmosphere, one of the most fascinating in the solar system. This dense mix of hydrogen, helium, and methane is home to some extreme phenomena. Deep within the atmosphere, the pressure and temperature are so intense that carbon turns into diamonds. Yes, you heard that right Neptune might have real diamond rain falling deep into the planet. We're now flying through Neptune because it's a gas giant. It doesn't have a solid surface, so we can move freely through its atmosphere all the way to its innermost layers. Huh? In real life, we could fly through Neptune's atmosphere but the pressure would most likely tear the spacecraft apart before we could reach deeper layers. So I think we landed on the surface of Neptune. Now we're landing on Triton with this lander. I think we can back to fun facts. Triton's surface is covered with nitrogen ice and it's one of the coldest places in the solar system. The temperature there is about minus 235 degrees Celsius. As you can see, Triton's surface is quite mountainous and uneven, so landing here could be challenging. But we landed without any problems. Now we will back on main ship. We can back to fun fact again. Dot dot in the future, Triton might be torn apart by Neptune's gravity and turn into a ring system similar to Saturn's rings. Here's one last fun fact Triton is very similar to Pluto. Scientists believe it might have once been a Cooper Belt object that was captured by Neptune. Now we're docking with our main ship and getting ready to head back home. Before we begin, I just want to mention that I'm assuming there are no temperature-related damages, as this mission would be impossible or extremely difficult without that.
The mission was a success and has been completed successfully.